Hello traders and welcome to my channel. Today's video we're going to be doing a market breakdown on the dollar index and other pairs and hope you guys stick around and enjoy it. Stay tuned. And before we start with today's video, I want you guys to do me a favor. Number one, subscribe to this channel by clicking over here. Number two, go to my free Telegram channel. So on this channel, I, I share my analysis. Every time I see an opportunity, I make sure that I send it here. It's detailed analysis. You can refer to it at any time at your convenience. And I also share results. As you can see, here are some of the results. Here's the broker that we are using. So I'm going to start by looking at the dollar index on the monthly till the daily. So as you can see, we're in a long-term uptrend. Um, this is monthly supply, monthly supply, monthly demand. We recently retested this demand, meaning that this demand is in control and the market stuck in between this uh, monthly demand and supply. So according to the supply and demand curve, um, the market's still very much in the buy area, right? But then um, when we go to lower time frames, the market can retest this area once again, go up, or the market can drop. But what we know from the supply and demand curve and uh, supply and demand in control, we know that if demand is in control and we're in a demand or buying area, then supplies are a low probability trade right so in this area we're only interested in in setups that offer buying signals other than selling signals unless the market breaks through this level let's go to the weekly as we go to the weekly this becomes more clear um this is the monthly demand that i was talking about this is the nested demand monthly demand and this is the monthly supply but it's not nested uh, so on the weekly, it looks like um, the supply is in control, but then with supply and demand trading, the higher the time frame, the more significant the level. So the monthly is more significant than the weekly, right? As you can see, weekly supply is in control. So the market either has to break through this level or the market has to retest this level to give us the necessary confirmation, right? What do I see on the short run? I see that the market will drop to this level and I will only take the next course of action if I get the necessary confirmation on this level. If I get a buy signal on this level, I'm going to buy or I'm expecting buyers and then I'm going to expect to take profit on that fresh supply over here. If the market does come to this level over here and breaks it, then we're going to um, stop or the market I'm expecting a drop to the next monthly demand, right? What I see on this level is that there's been a lot of price action on this level, means there's a lot of liquidity. So yeah, the market tends to move from areas of high liquidity to areas of low liquidity. Hopefully you will find a lesson on that on my channel very soon. And then yeah, let's get moving. So as you can see, there's a nested supply area over here. The market also formed a falling wedge and dropped, respecting this nested daily supply and also this weekly supply. So like I said, I'm expecting a drop to the next or opposing weekly supply. Now, because we got this breakout over here with this impulse, I'm expecting a correction over this area over here. And if the market can drop below or form a full correction on this area, I expect it to drop on this level. So if you're interested in taking sales, especially on USD pairs, uh, it's gonna be a high, I mean, a low probability setup, high risk. So be careful and bear in mind or keep that in mind when you take a trade. Um, even though we expect a movement and it's a higher time frame, meaning high pro profit potential, you still have to be cautious with the risk that you're taking. Now, that's my sentiment on the dollar index. Let's move on to Euro USD. As we all know, 
the euro is the inverse of the dollar index more or less not entirely but yeah so this is a weekly demand weekly supply the market got into this nested daily level struggled a bit for a couple of weeks respected this falling wedge and then we got this breakout to the upside i actually shared the setup on telegram like i said click on the link in the description to get access to signals or setups as i see them now i'm expecting the market to go all the way here also filling in this void over here um this is where i'm going to be taking profit and because this is a fresh supply area i'm very much interested in what the market's going to do when it reaches this area of supply over here is it going to break this area over here move above because like i said there's a lot of liquidity here and the market tends to move from areas of high liquidity to areas of low liquidity as you can see with the supply area it's nested number one also there's a there's not a lot of price action on this level so there's also a possibility that the market will break through this levels of supply over here and once we get onto this area over here that's where we get our reaction on the higher time frame it seems as though euro usd is on a high long-term uptrend so it will be very interesting for me to see what actually happens when the market gets to this area are we going to get a breakout to the upside or are we going to get a drop and a continuation to the downside now let's move on i'm interested in seeing what's happening on NZDCAD. So now on NZDCAD, we see that we're on the weekly now. Um, this is the monthly supply, monthly demand, weekly supply, um, weekly demand, weekly supply, supply. Now the market went and retested this fresh weekly supply. Just want to adjust. And now we are on this area of demand over here. Now the problem with this demand area, number one, it's not in a, on a nested level on a nested higher time frame level meaning it's very low probability right it's mid curve it's in the middle of this high time frame supply and demand and number two it hasn't broken any structure so it's not a high probability area so assuming that the market respects this level what kind of confirmation am i supposed to look for on the lower time frame it uh, recently retested this daily demand over here right i'm actually waiting for a breakout on the four hour it's going to be more clear on the four hour respecting this area and if we do get a breakout on this level here's my take profit but like i said uh i don't think this area is a high probability area so even if the market respects this level and you get by confirmation use proper risk management use low risk because the market can still drop to the downside um let's see or let's get a clearer picture on the four hour before we move on so this is exactly what i'm seeing on the four hour we got this trend line over here first test second test third test and if the market breaks through this area we're going to expect a breakout on this trend line and a movement to the upside so this is what i see on nzdcad let's move on to second last pair now i'm on aud and the aud usd sorry monthly demand monthly demand on the weekly chart this is the market went up retested this nested weekly supply and then dropped now the market recently retested this weak demand over here um it's not a high probability demand area because it's not nested within the higher time frame demand but still sticks because of the supply and demand curve now the market recently retested this level and we're waiting for confirmation to enter 
if the market breaks this level, the next area of interest will be on this area over here. This demand that's nested within the high time frame demand. Now let's look at our daily area. We entered into this trade uh, this Friday. Unfortunately, the market went up only for a few hours and then started dropping. But then what's good about this it's still, is that we're still within or above this trend line and we're still on this demand area. So what I'm expecting to see the following week or the coming week is a push to the upside confirming the spy. And this is where I'm going to take profits. Now let's look at one final pair, which is gold, and then we're done. So on gold is very much simple. I actually shared this on, on Telegram. So like I said, if you're interested in signals, daily signals or weekly signals, I'm more consistent on Telegram. Now the market went up after it hit this nested demand level. And then now we're getting a correction from this push to the upside. Now we're expecting a trend line retest here and then the market to continue on this until this area over here. This is where I have my limit order. Stop loss above this uh, proximal line. Then I'm expecting a drop. So this is what I'm expecting to see on gold. I'm expecting to see a bullish push to the upside. And depending on the, how the market reacts on this level, I'm expecting a drop to at least the opposing um, weekly demand. Reason why I'm looking for bias here is that there's no weekly or high time frame area over here. So we are in the middle of the curve, meaning when you're in the middle of the high time frame curve, the market can go either way. So now that we are seeing a, a, a impulse correction, impulse type of pattern, that's why I'm expecting a bullish push. Thank you for tuning into this channel and watching till the end. Subscribe if you still haven't and check out my other videos. Till we meet again, uh, this is your boy signing out. Peace.